How simple is a simple cell? I used to be a school teacher in public schools in England and Wales. I arrived at one school in South Wales and I noticed that the physics laboratories and the chemistry laboratories were in one part of the school, but the biology laboratories were in a completely different part of the school. And I asked why this was the case, why there was this separation between biology and physics and chemistry. And the head of science, who was in fact an atheist and actually a communist by uh, religious persuasion as well, said to me, it's because here in the physics area and the chemistry area, we do real science, whereas in biology, they just deal in fairy tales. <laughs> I'm not going to push it that far, but it's interesting that he should make that distinction because clearly when people are first learning science in high school, they need to learn about things that are simple. So in physics, we'll learn about simple forces that can be easily demonstrated. In chemistry, we'll learn about simple atoms uh, before we get into the complexities of what happens if you have lots of orbitals of electrons. We'll keep things simple. And in biology too, they'll want to start with simple things, so they'll start talking about simple cells. The trouble is, how simple is a simple cell? As a young teacher, I used to draw cells on the chalkboard, just as looking like an outline of cytoplasm, um, uh, the, the, the whole jelly-like substance, the cytoplasm within, the, within the, uh, the skin, the membrane, and a nucleus at the center, a very simple diagram. Of course, it's not true because even the simplest cell is very, very complex. It has been estimated that a simple cell contains more complexity and more machinery within it than one highly industrialized, sophisticated city today. Simple cells are not simple. And to label them as simple gives a false impression to students who think Therefore, that a simple cell must be easily made from a few simple atoms, when nothing could be further from the truth. The atoms cannot get themselves together by themselves in any sort of random arrangement and hope to become a single, simple cell that will be able to reproduce.